hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to learn how to integrate firebase into our flutter application in an easy and proper way so that you won't have any problem initializing it and you need to watch this video till the end so that you don't miss any step so let's start okay so first of all as we need to integrate the firebase we need to go to the firebase console and this is the console and in here if you don't have any project created yet you need to click on this add project and after that you need to enter the name of your project so let's say Maddie app and after that you need to click on the continue and after that you need to enable or disable the Google Analytics if you enable it you will be able to access all these functionalities but I do not want to enable it so I will just disable it and then I will click on the create button but I have already created a project so I will just select this one and selecting this will navigate us to the project dashboard so here you can see we have the configuration for all the operating systems let's say Apple Android web unity and flutter in my previous projects I was used to integrate firebase using these native configurations but now as you know that firebase and flutter are both of google so they have provided us the functionality to integrate firebase into our flutter application in some simple steps so i will just click on the flutter icon and after that it says that we need to make sure that the firebase cli and the flutter sdk is installed on our system so flutter sdk is already installed as we are flutter developers but we need to click on the firebase cli so just click on it and it will navigate us to a website where we can install the flutter cli and in here you can see that you need to select the operating system you want to install this firebase cli so i will just click on the windows as i am on windows and after that you can install this cli using these two methods one is standalone binary and the other is using the npm which is node package manager so let me tell you that standalone binary is for new developers but there are some issues that you need to manually configure everything so i will just go with the npm which is easy for me and it will be easy for you also so just select this one and for the npm you need to install the node.js mostly every developer has npm installed on his, his system but if you don't have you need to click on this node.js and it will navigate you to the node.js website and after that you can select any of the version which is LTS or the current latest version you can select any of these so I will go with this one which is LTS means long term support and after that I will just download it so after downloading here is the downloaded file and I will just double click on it and as Node.js is already installed on my system so if I just click on this next it will ask me to change repair or remove but if you are the user who is installing this application for the first time you need to just click on this next 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 let me just show you I will click on the repair and okay click on this repair and it will install it again okay so it is completed and now we can click on this finish button okay so after that let's go back to the firebase cli and let's scroll a bit down and in here we need to just copy this command open our terminal and just paste it and press enter so it will download the firebase tools on our system so let's wait so the firebase tools are installed on my system and now let's go back to the Maddie app and after that let's click on this next button as we have completed all these steps okay so in here we need to copy this command and just paste on this terminal and hit enter so it will just activate the flutter fire CLI on our system so okay so it is also done let me clear it and after that we need to just copy this command and go back to our project 
and in the terminal we need to paste this command and just hit enter so let's wait for a few seconds okay so now it says that for which platform or which operating system you, do you want to set up the firebase so i just want to set up the firebase for the android and ios so as i am on windows i can ignore the ios but if you are on the mac you can select the ios also so for now i will just go with the android and you can just navigate to all these options using the up and down keys of the keyboard and use the space key to mark as you want to use this thing so as i'm only going with android i will select it and hit enter so it will just register my application on the firebase so let's wait for it okay so here it says that the google json file already exists for a different firebase project do you want to replace so i will say yes enter okay so it is now replaced and the firebase has been integrated here is the platform firebase id for my application so let me just copy this for later use okay so this is done let me clear it and here you can see that we have this firebase options here which contains all the configurations for the firebase and after that to initialize the flutter application we need a package which is flutter um, which is firebase core and just hit enter so this package will be downloaded in our application but we are facing an issue that this is already in the dependencies okay, so for me the firebase core is already added in the pubspec.yml so if yours is not present you can just do this manually and after that we need to go to the main method make it an asynchronous method and after that you need to say await firebase dot initialize app let's go inside this method and use the options property and in here we need to say default firebase options dot current platform and just hit save and now the configuration is done let's try to run this application on a real device or emulator so i will go with the emulator and but before running this application let's just add a widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized so it will just make sure that everything is initialized and after that it initializes the firebase and then run this application so let's try to run and wait for it okay so the app is being installed and there is no error we detected here means everything is successfully done and we haven't faced any issue running this application so that's all for today i hope it helped you and if you faced any issue please let me know in the comment section so i will just try to help and give you the solution so if you like this video press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing incoming content see you in the next one till that allah is